So I was asked to come to Canada to do a ceremony at a very sacred and old ceremonial site that predates the pyramids and Stonehenge. And they wanted me to come there and bring Amanita and speak to the Amanita and make an offering on behalf of an endeavor that they were embarking on. And I'd never done that before, but I figured I could figure it out. The Amanita don't usually let me down. But I've never been to any kind of sacred site or anything old like that. And as we got there, of course, you know, proper permissions were obtained and uh, we worked with a historian. And it's out in the middle of nowhere. And as we got there, he got the drone ready. He wanted to leave me alone to go do it myself. But he wanted to get it on video because he wanted to keep it. Ultimately, he wound up giving it to me so that I could show you because of what happened. So he asked me what he would like me to ask the Amanita on his behalf, and so I went. And I didn't know what to expect when I got there. I'd never been there. I'd never seen it. And it was the strangest experience. It would turn out to be one of the most profound. And as I got there, it pulled me in and I could feel exactly what to do and all of the ancestors who had been there before me for thousands of years. It was very deep and very profound and very sacred. And it's like I just fell in like I had been doing this my whole life. Like I was part of some group of humans who grew up there, around it, visiting it regularly. Like I had seen my elders do it hundreds of times. Like I had been taught to do it. It felt natural. It felt normal. It felt ancient. And when I knelt down and closed my eyes and went silent and spoke to the Amanita, I can't express to you the beauty and amazingness of what happened. They just burst into joy and tears and said, you have no idea how happy we are that you are back. We have missed the humans for so long. Please let this be the beginning. We want so much to see you back here again. We remember the days and they showed me all of the ceremonies and celebrations that had happened there and they said this is what we miss about you. We had such a beautiful relationship with you. The ceremonies, the dancing, the playing, the laughing, the drums and music, and the joyful celebrations, the coming together, the honoring of the wisdom of the ancestors, watching the humans enjoy the humans, watching them enjoy us, the celebration of the fungi and the humans the celebrations. This was what we were talking about, dear Amanita Dreamer, that very first time we talked to you about this. And we hope now that you will please bring more people back and do this again. Please come back. Please come back. And start telling the others. Go now and go out into the world and help the humans remember this was what kept them beautiful and healthy and sane and normal and happy. I mean, of course, I was crying, but it changed me. And I left there different, and it took weeks to process it.
And of course, when I then went into the winter solstice ceremony that I hosted, that's what I told them. I said, this is why I'm doing these now. This is what I'm trying to do for you to say thank you because I remember now. I remember now. And so I gave to them that wish. I said, this is what I want to do. Help me do it. And a week later, as soon as the new year changed into 2022, immediately the emails started coming in of people that wanted me to travel and do ceremonies in their area. And so the calendar is filling up, but now, now, we're planning a very large summer solstice celebration here. And so this summer solstice, I'm coming back here. And this time I'm bringing the humans and we're going to celebrate. And these hills are going to have a celebration like they haven't seen in a very long time. And it will echo the drums, the joy, the Amanitas and the humans again. It's time. Amanita want us to know there's so many things that you're missing there's so much you don't know because you've forgotten and stick with us and we'll help you remember and it starts with coming together it's very important to me so stay tuned for those things and thank you for sharing this profound experience with me and I'll be making more like this I love you beautiful people